Hello everyone and welcome to the 20th episode of Edu Chat with Dr. Sujit. I feel so happy and so excited all the time every time I make a video for Edu Chat simply because it helps to give me answers and solutions to your questions and the difficulty you face in your day to day practice. And I'm sure you enjoy the Edu Chat series as well. If you're someone who has not yet asked a question, or if your question is not yet selected in the edu chat, then I want you to keep on asking good questions, which will be helpful. The answers of which will be helpful to a big audience or majority of the practicing dentists. Keep on asking your questions because your questions will be selected if it is useful for the majority, right? And in this episode, I'm going to answer three questions. And you know that we pick the question of the week every single time we do the edu chat and the best question is going to receive the copy of my international bestseller book new age dental premier absolutely complimentary okay so today the voice of question behind the camera is sonal and sonal is going to ask the question today so let's start with the 20th episode of edu chat with dr sujit so sonal what's the first question dr dagini asked what are the things one should keep in mind while searching for clinic location? Well, Dr. Ragini, uh, first of all, congratulations. Probably you are about to start the new practice and uh, may you have a great, wonderful career as a practicing dentist. Now, coming to how to select the right locations for the clinic, what are the things to consider? Now, few of the things which you should consider is number one. If you start the practice in a commercial premise rather than the residential one, it's always plus one. Okay, I understand it becomes very difficult, especially in the urban areas, in the metro cities, for you to find the ideal place. Okay, but if possible, try to be in the commercial area rather than the residential area. That's step number one. Number two, if your place has visibility, that is again a big plus because see what is seen constantly what is there in front of eyes of your potential patients or prospects that's always a big plus right so visibility if there is visibility then wow if your clinic is not exactly visible but then if you have the provision or if you can make the provision of putting a signage or create visibility for your practice then that will be a wonderful thing. The third is accessibility. These two are different things. Remember, okay? It should be very easily accessible to the patient. They should be able to walk. They should be able to drive. They should be able to park their vehicle. So it might sound very uh, simple or silly, but let me tell you, parking is a very, very big problem. And not just in the metro cities, even in the smaller cities. I hope you understand what I'm saying. So if there is accessibility and feasibility there will be less friction and people will be willing to come more easily towards your practice then if the location is in prime area then again a big plus so every commercial complex is not at the prime location remember okay so if the location is in the prime area then it's a big plus now let me give you a wonderful news by the way Okay, remember not just about location, but how to select the area of your clinic, what should be the minimum area, what should the should be the minimum equipment, how to uh, you know how to give name, the tagline, the logo, the color theme to your clinic, then how to select the staff, how to keep the records, what are the branding and marketing elements you should keep in mind. You know what? I have created a separate course called practice startup formula for all the young dentists all my young friends who want to start their practice and have the guidance for all these things and the best thing is the practice startup formula is an online course the best thing is it is absolutely freely available to all of you okay so not just you but i want you to share this with all your friends and colleagues who can get benefited from practice startup formula so I'm going to put the link of registration into the practice startup formula into the comment below and pin it, pin that comment, right? So make sure that you click that link, 
enrolled for practice uh, practice startup formula absolutely free and there you will come to know about every aspect of your practice which should be in alignment with success right from day one okay and let me tell you as far as the location coming back to the question actually okay remember i always say this places never make people people make places so you try to do as best as you can but then location is not everything even if you don't get so called ideal location make sure that you do every other thing right in your practice and you will become unstoppable all the best to you so sonal what's the next question dr gauri asked my practice was initially good during first two years but patients flow reduced what to do cool dr gauri your practice was good for a couple of years but something has gone wrong and the patient flow has reduced now there can be multiple reasons why this happened number 1 you need to ask yourself in the 2 years of your practice what you did well okay so whatever number of patients you did i want you to analyze each and every patient maybe you can give marks to yourself depending upon the satisfaction index that means how satisfied the patient was okay just give random marks to yourself like you know out of 10 for every patient because you will understand that few patients were extremely satisfied with your treatment few patients were not satisfied few were okay few were absolutely annoyed when they went back even probably only after consultation maybe after listening to your charges whatever So now when you give marks to yourself you will understand the steps 2 the step 2 will be you will be able to analyze what you did well for those patients who were extremely happy what you did not do well for those who were not satisfied or absolutely annoyed whatever okay and whatever good things you did you can continue doing the good things consciously ensuring that you are doing the good things for every single patient in every single appointment who walks in okay now this exercise actually is called swot analysis s w o t it is the analysis of your strengths weaknesses opportunities and threats so once you do your swot analysis you will understand what you are good at what you are not so good at and then you need to enhance all the things which are good and you need to eliminate or reduce the things which are not good or which you are not doing right okay so that is one part of the exercise the second thing you need to ask yourself are you doing enough marketing whether online or offline remember in order to constantly generate leads you need to be in front of the eyes of your potential patients out of sight is out of mind okay so you need to do constant marketing whether online or offline in order to ensure that your visibility your presence is always there and that will help you to generate leads and number 3 keep on upgrading yourself all the time not just in clinical skills but most importantly your communication your presentation your management skills with all honesty this is what i think is the pain point okay effective patient consultation is the most important prerequisite in order to do the treatment because unless patient say yes to you you cannot treat the patient so you need to learn the art and science of effective and magnetic patient consultation presentation during and after the treatment and even before the treatment management about your appointments your staff yourself your time patients everything now when you work on all these five factors you will be amazed to see your practice taking a new level very soon okay so if you don't know i have a very powerful online community you can just sign up for my free webinar and get to know more about my community and how people take their practices you know literally to double triple four times five times 10 times level okay all the best for your practice so the next question sonal what's the third question dr dinesh 
asked, can we display a rate chart of treatment in our waiting room? Well, Dr. Dinesh, displaying the rate chart in the waiting room. With all honesty, if you ask my personal opinion, I'm not for it. Simply because it's like displaying the menu card of some uh, okay, uh, restaurant or something in the waiting room. And I'm sure as a practicing dentist, none of us would like that, right? But unfortunately, what I have heard or what I know from is the government is eventually making it mandatory for all the medical practitioners to display the rate chart in the waiting room. Frankly speaking, I'm not for it. I'm very uncomfortable doing it because the doctor patient relationship is definitely beyond a normal customer and businessman kind of relationship. Okay. And displaying the rate card will trust me, be like, look like a menu card. Okay. So my personal take on this is we should not display it unless it becomes mandatory. It becomes law. It becomes rule. And even if you want to display it, just display the range. Okay, because you know that the cost of dental treatment cannot be same for every tooth, every patient, every situation, even for the same treatment. So my opinion is we should not display the rate card, the menu card in the waiting room. So I hope you got my point, right? So with this, let's come to the end of the 20th episode of EduChat with Dr. Sujit. And now it's time to choose the best question of the episode. And the best question of the episode, in my opinion, was asked by Dr. Gauri. The second question that my practice was initially good, but eventually went down what to do. So congratulations, Dr. Gauri. You win the copy of my international bestseller book, New Age Dental Premier. Just shoot an email to connect at the rate sujitpardeshi.com and share your shipping address. And we'll be glad to send you the personally autographed copy of new age dental premier to you so share this video with your friends keep on asking questions subscribe to my youtube channel and this is dr sujit pardeshi signing off from the 20th episode of edu chat with dr sujit and i'll see you in the next video thank you